Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is another installment of the New Makeup Releases Purchase or Pass uh, series. So this was originally started by Samantha March. Lots of people do it. I This is my like fifth one doing it. I took a long break off between number three and number four because life. Um, and I take inspiration from Teresa's dad and her friends and their makeup bingo by drinking while I do it. So I'm having a mango truly. Um, and if you're new here, welcome. My name is Colin. I am a non-binary Latinx scientist and lover of makeup with a soft spot for any makeup and colorful makeup. And I have new content every week, so I'd love to have you subscribe. Also, I will put this disclaimer right at the beginning. We might not agree. I might think something is idiotic and you might love it. That doesn't mean I don't like you. People can have different opinions. Um, but I definitely do have a lot of opinions about a lot of things. Uh, I think that also kind of comes with having multiple graduate degrees. You just overthink everything. So if you don't, if we disagree on something, but if we disagree on something, it's not the end of the world. We can move on. You don't have to be mean in the comments. Um, I hate that I have to give this disclosure, but you sometimes you just have to because people. Okay, so. Um, I film with my phone, so I am using my old iPad to uh, look at Instagram and stuff. So I just went back to uh, the last, basically where I left off last time, two weeks ago. And the first thing that is there is Natasha Denona's new serum. Um, oh yeah, not like last time. I'm not going to forget to move over. Okay, so... Natasha Denona's new skin glass. It's high gem skin glass, hydrating serum. Lots of controversy over this because there is a small brand, woman of color owned brand called Skin Glass. Um, so there's been a lot of fighting about this. I don't feel the need to buy this. It's not a product that I am like, ooh, I need that. Um, I have very sensitive skin, so I'm very particular about my skincare. So makeup skincare hybrid things are not normally my thing. Um, it looks fine. She apologized, but like both sides, there's a lot of fighting in the comments on every post about this. Um, I am not going to engage in the fighting, but it's already out. I think it's $46. Um, it looks pretty. If you're interested in this, I would recommend looking up the actual skin glass brand. I don't think the products are identical. I looked at them and they don't, it's not like exactly the same product, but and you see skin glass as a term used by a lot of people, but to have it in the same font and right there, it, it definitely uh, was not a smart move on Natasha Denona's side. So uh, that was a mess. <laughs> um, everybody loves drama apparently, but um, I did look at the brand. I had heard of them before and I didn't follow them. Some of their products look really nice. A few of them I can't try because they have avocado oil in them, but maybe one day there'll be something from the brand that looks like I would want to try it and doesn't have avocado oil in it. So, but that, that was a mess. Um, so if you're ever launching a brand or doing something with a brand, do your research and don't do this shit. <laughs> And then we've got a new product from Pat McGrath. Um, it's a new addition to her Skin Fetish Highlighter Balm Duo. So you've got like a balm on one side and then a highlighter on the other. This is the Extreme Cyber Orchid color. It's really beautiful. I have eyeshadows that are this color that I could probably use as a highlighter. Um, it's pretty. I don't know. It's pretty. It's $58 though, so like not something I want, but I appreciate it, its existence. Okay, and so this is a collaboration between Love Island and what brand? Makeup Revolution, of course it is. I've never watched Love Island. I don't watch reality TV, except for RuPaul's Drag Race. That is like the queer, you know, Olympics. It's the queer sport. Um, and I've watched Selling Sunset. Those are the two reality things I've seen. 
Um, I've never watched any of The Real Housewives, never watched Survivor. I've seen like an episode of Survivor when someone else was watching it. So I am not a reality TV person. Um, this is cute, but basic. Kind of looks like the ColourPop Barbie collection. Um, and I hate Makeup Revolution's quality um, and like ColourPop, how they release things constantly. So it's easy pass for me, but it does look very similar to the ColourPop Barbie palette, um, which is probably better quality because people liked that palette. Speaking of Barbie, this is a weird collab. This is a three-way collab. It's Forever 21, Trigger Pill, and Barbie. Um, I have never seen a three-way collab like that, um, but I think it's really cute. It fits with Trigger Pill to partner with Barbie. Um, the Forever 21 is a little weird. I thought they went out of business. I don't know, but they're pretty. It's um, lip, lip glosses? Yeah. Their lip gloss is for $18. You've got Dream House, which is sheer pink with iridescent blue and fuchsia. Malibu Sunrise is a peach. And then there's a semi-sheer apricot gloss and a clear one. I think it's Malibu Sunrise that I, I would totally wear. Um, it looks beautiful. Yeah, Malibu Sunrise. Here's a swatch. Um, so here's swatches of all of them. The Malibu Sunrise shade is beautiful, but I don't need more lip gloss, but that is really pretty. Um, this is new and this is, I actually hadn't seen before. The Ordinary is releasing a multi-peptide lash and brow serum. So it's concentrated lightweight serum designed to promote the look of thicker, fuller, and healthier lashes and brows. So it's promote the look of, not that it actually makes them healthier. So that's something to watch when brands put that kind of phrasing. Um, they'll look thicker, but they're not actually thicker. Um, so this is supposed to nourish and protect them. It's $14. I might actually try this. Um, not that I need bigger brows, but my husband might even like that. Colourpop launching another makeup palette. This is the Gettin' Fresh palette. Uh, it's cute. Unnecessary. Um, and if you look at it, it's like warm peachy tones and then like pops of green. But once again, this could be condensed into like a 12 pan. Some of those shades look so close to each other. Like, do you really need three slightly different mid-tone browns and then three other mid-tone shades that all look kind of similar? Like, it's it's just excessive and not unnecessary. Um, they're also launching new bronzers. The shade range on the bronzers is questionable to me. Um, there's six shades, but they don't look great. Um, let me see if I can find a better picture of them. Yeah, so it looks like, here's a picture that it's like a couple light shades, like a light shade, three medium shades, and then like two, like a two darker, I don't know, it just doesn't seem balanced. I feel like it leans very light. Um, like even I probably would be using like the third from the darkest. So I feel like they need more and ColourPop definitely has the money to have more than six shades. They could have easily done 10 and had a better shade range with undertones. So that's disappointing, but at least they're trying. Um, and then ColourPop again, launching uh, a summer collection. I think this is going to Ulta. Um, it's four quads, a blue quad, a pink quad, a peach quad, and a brown quad. I've had hit or miss luck with the quads. Um, some of them, the mattes have been the best ColourPop mattes I've used, but the shimmers have been the worst ColourPop shimmers I've ever used, where not even a wet brush or glitter glue can save them and make them even show up. So buy at your own risk. I know some people really love the quads because they're affordable and some people say the quality is great, but I think if you've tried any nicer brand at all, they're just gonna be disappointing. Um, but they look cute. I like the idea of them. I like them in theory, but ColourPop tends to lack it in the execution standpoint. Um, NYX is launching more glosses. This is the This Is Milky Gloss. Um, they look interesting. Um, I will not be buying these. Um, I've tried 
It says they're infused with vegan milks, but I don't really know what that means. Dairy-free vegan milk. Like, are you putting, like, what milk, what vegan milk? Are you putting almond milk? Are you putting oat milk? Are you putting, like, also why? Is it, yeah, I don't understand at all. Um, the only lip glosses I've tried from them are the, there's, I don't remember the name. I will put it down here when I remember it, but I hate it. It was one of the worst glosses. It made my lips, it was goopy and gross. I hated it. Um, so I will be skipping that easily. And then House Labs finally revealed their new first launch at their rebrand. Um, so they're coming to Sephora on the 9th, June 9th, um, and they've announced the product so far. I will definitely be picking up some of these and doing a comparison to the, my old House Lab stuff because I have a little bit of everything from them. I'm excited for this. So they have bronzers, uh, which are coming out in 10 shades. Really nice mix of undertones and depths. I think this is how you do a bronzer range. Um, I don't need another bronzer, but my House Labs bronzer is my favorite. So I'm curious if they've improved it or what they did to it. Um, highlighters, which are $40, but I think they're a gel to powder formula, just like they did for the holiday highlighter. And that is my favorite highlighter of all time. It is the best formula of any highlighter I've ever used. It's beautiful, um, better than Pat McGrath. So, and Pat McGrath's are like $65. So in comparison, this is cheap, <laughs> but some of these look beautiful. Um, that fire opal shade looks like a blush hybrid, um, looks beautiful. I definitely want at least one of these. Um, and then they're launching the brow pencils again, same shades. I think they just might have reformulated new packaging. And then they have their eyeliners, which they already had. They changed the packaging though, and they have some new colors. So like the lime green and the olive green are new, but the browns, the purples, the blues, those were already there. The greens were, the pink is new. And they now have like a little smudge brush at the end so you can do your wing liner with them. Um, so I definitely wanna compare those because these, they don't talk about long wear like they used to. This talks more about eco-friendly. So I'm curious if they'll last as long because those are like budge proof, the originals. And then my favorite matte lipstick, the lip crayons, they are keeping those. They just changed the packaging. So instead of just the cap being the color that it is, it's the whole component. Um, and they have new names, but some of the colors look basically the same. So I'm curious to see if they are. And then the new, the one brand new, totally new product is these high powered pigment paints. So there's matte and metallic. They kind of remind me of, I have some Makeup Forever paints like that. Danessa Myricks, her uh, products that look, looks very similar to that. Um, what's it? Halsey's brand that I'm forgetting the name of suddenly. They have something similar to this. So I'm curious to see how these work. Um, you basically have the rainbow, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, and then black, a couple different browns and a white in different depths. And then you have sparkly shades in silver, charcoal, red, champagne, orange, pink, a plum, a blue. So those are really pretty teal, amethyst, yeah. Um, I definitely wanna try these out and compare them to the things I've used before. And I think it's a very, very fitting idea. I remember when Halsey's brand, About Face, there it is, <laughs> came out, everybody was like, this is what I expected House Labs to be. I do think it's funny, and I will rant about this another point too, that everybody's losing their mind over this. <laughs> like people are like, this is what I always wanted. And I'm like, most of these products are what they already had, just rebrand, like reformulated and repackaged. Like I've seen countless people on, especially Twitter, being like, oh my God, I can't wait to try your white eyeliner. It's gonna be the best white eyeliner and the promo shoots of her wearing the eyeliner. And I'm like, they already have a white eyeliner and it's great. And the photos look very similar to the promo shoots from that. Did you just like somehow miss everything they launched for the last two years? Like just cause it's going to Sephora, it's suddenly hyped. Like I'm proud for them. 
and hopefully that helps them bring in more money and innovate and release better products. But I, I, I think it's weird how people like dismiss them when they launched, ignore them. And now that they're rebranding, even if some of the items are exactly the same, they're like, you know, oh my God, I can't believe you're bringing this out. And it's like, they, they already have this. And then, mm, let's see, Makeup Forever is launching new face palettes. Um, so these are the HD Skin face palettes. Each palette includes 12 complementary cream shades to color correct, enhance. So you've got like pinks, you've got color correctors, blush kind of colors, contour colors. Um, I think they're really cute. This would be nice for a makeup kit if you did other people's makeup or I mean, even if you only do your own makeup, you can buy like the one that fits you. But if you're doing other people's makeup, it's nice to have these kind of things. So you get three cream foundations, four cream, four shades for concealing and correcting, two blushes, two contours, and a highlighter. Available now in the Middle East, coming soon to Europe, Japan, China, North America, and Taiwan. So we won't get it in North America until October. But I think that's those are really, that's a really nice product, especially if you're starting out as a makeup artist doing other people's makeup. Um, and then we have two things from Trixie Cosmetics that have come out since I last filmed. Uh, they launched bronzers and lip balms. I did already buy these. <laughs> I bought two lip balms and a bronzer. Um, they look really cute. The, the lip balms are the bestie balms. They are, what are they? They're $10, I think. Doesn't say on here. I think they're about $10. So each one is a different scent and a different color. So there's a clear one that is frosting, like marshmallow, frost, yeah, marshmallow scented. There's a pomegranate one that's like a pomegranate, sheer pomegranate color and pomegranate scented. There's a pink frosting one, a prickly pear one, and a margarita one. Um, I picked up the prickly pear and the pomegranate, um, so I'm excited to try those. They did ship, but I don't have them yet, so expect a video on that soon. And then the bronzers look really pretty. There's four um, different bronzers, and I think they did a really good job for being a small brand. So there's a light one, like a fair to light, a light medium to medium, a medium to medium deep, and a deep to really dark and each one has two shades like a lighter shade and a darker Trixie said that way if you're one of them you can use it or if you're someone who tans in the summer you have like a summer shade and a winter shade I think it's a very clever way for a small brand to launch a complexion product like a bronzer so I'm excited to try that out and I will have a review of that soon and then just announced today for pride they are doing the color me gay lip gloss bundle so it comes in a little bus that looks like Trixie driving in it. It's super cute. Um, and it is six uh, lip glosses that are already existing and then a new one. So it's Scarlet Letter, which is what I'm wearing right now. Um, my favorite lip gloss ever. New Thing, Royal Jelly, Vegan Agenda, Prism, Lollipop Luxe. Those are the existing ones. So you basically have red, orange, yellow, green, blue, pink, um, or purple, pink. And then High Gay is the new one, which is a sheer gloss with rainbow glitter. So sadly, that is only available in the bundle, and I don't really need seven more Trixie glosses, but I really want High Gay. So, but I think this is cute and a perfect pride launch for Trixie. Since my last video, I haven't seen too much new indie things come out that look really interesting. Um, some, a few things from brands I've never heard of uh, that I'm not going to go over because that would just take too long. And then I know Sigil Inspired has a new palette coming out and it looks really cute and I want it, but you can't buy it because of Russia and <laughs> invading Ukraine and all the sanctions, you can't pay them. Uh, so sadly gonna miss that, but it looks really cute. It's purple and green and very springy and has a bunny on it. So if I could buy it, I would, but I can't. So that's everything. As always, let me know your opinions in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to like and subscribe, and I will see you in my next video.